go. Hi, this is Alyssa Harding Weinstein. It's about 2 o'clock on Saturday, um, October 22nd, 2022. Um, I am still falsely um, kept at Rockland Psychiatric Facility, where without a full examination, without two physicians, they deemed that I was <laughs> schizophrenic. Mm. I have got schizoaffective disorder, they're trying to tell me. And that I have to go on antipsychotic medications that cause severe cognitive disabilities, including dyskinesis, tremors. Epilepsy, um, uh, cardiac issues, including cardiac failure, and um, and suicide. I mean, it's sick. These people are fucking sick. Obviously, not everybody that works here is this, but the nurse practitioner Bell is there, and the chief Robert Hamilton, the medical director, are absolutely sociopathic. They really don't care about what's true and what's accurate, and they just care about trying to get people on medications that lead to suicide and death, and, and um, cogn massive cognitive impairments. So um, please pay attention to this, understand how easy it was for them to do this, understand how they can ignore all the exculpatory evidence understand how all the facilities that we think are there to help us, such as mental health and hygiene legal service, right? Mental hygiene legal service are employed by the courts. So when it's a judge, a dirty judge, that wants to just say that you're incompetent, despite all the exculpatory evidence that you fully are aware of the charges against you and can participate meaningfully in your own defense, right? They just have to have two people. It doesn't even have to be a doctor. They can now have two psychologists say, right? Psychologists who you never even met with. Just write a report to say, yep, we never met with her, but we're opining that she's incompetent to stand trial because we just think it's true. That's it. We think it's true. We can't point to any evidence. You know, other people might have said it was true. Uh, we're not evaluating whether or not those people had a conflict of interest. We're going to ignore the exculpatory evidence of her competency, including filings into the court that are just and proper, you know, that have survived summary dismissal, like off the go with the prima facie issues in order to proceed, we're going to just forget about all that. It, it's, it's absolutely insane, and it's difficult to comprehend that this really could be the world that we're living in, um, because we have the notion that there are so many safeguards that would prevent us, but yet yeah, here we are. Um, so there's supposed to be some hearing on Monday. It should have been last Wednesday, the latest, because I petitioned for a hearing on the 14th. And by mental hygiene on 9.39, I should have had a hearing within five days. I also should have had two physician confirmation within 48 hours, and then a conversion to a 15-day status, and then from the 15-day status, um, a further evaluation should I request it uh, before being converted further. Um, None of that happened. Instead, when I pointed out that I understood the law, they then changed my status to uh, the hygiene law 9.27, which is much more loosey-goosey and doesn't mandate that the court has to have a hearing in five days from the time that I noticed the hospital. It says the court has to have a hearing five days for when the hospital noticed the court. But it doesn't make any provisions for when. It says that the, the courts, with the hospital is supposed to do it forthwith, right? But it's just, it, there are these loopholes that they put in to constantly be able to just fuck with us, to just take full control, full jurisdiction over our person, and poison us because they want to. So, anyway, stay, stay on board. I'll keep you posted. I'm staying positive. There's no reason to sit and be sad. Like, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to help participate in my own defense, in my own, you know, prosecution and, and torture. I'm still positive. I'm still kind. I'm still fighting for my kids. And uh, I just want to keep everybody informed as to how easy it is for the government to go about and do this. So, and, you know, please read these stories by Blaise Gomez and go look at the documents in case 55866-2022. Log on to NICEF, and you can't click on the actual documents, but you can look at the docket sheet. There was no order of protection issued on March 5th, none, okay? There was an order of protection issued on December 4th, 2020, and one issued on April 16th, 2021. That was backdated in four months, okay? Those are the two dates that you can see on the docket sheet. So this whole case is just 
all predicated on fraud, and then they just continue to create reliance on the fraud. That's all that this is, and it's super fucking easy for them to do it because so many people just do it as a natural part of their practice. It's not the exception, it's more the rule that this is how they practice. So thank you for staying connected, and I thank you for letting me